Together, let us pray the sixth novena to the Holy Spirit. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Holy Spirit, Lord of Light, from your clear celestial height, your pure beaming radiance give. The Holy Spirit, only one thing is important, eternal salvation. Only one thing, therefore, is to be feared, sin. Sin is the result of ignorance, weakness and indifference. The Holy Spirit is the spirit of light, of strength and of love. With his sevenfold gifts, he enlightens the mind, strengthens the will and inflames the heart with love of God. To ensure our salvation, we ought to invoke the Divine Spirit daily, for the Spirit helped our infirmity. We know not what we should pray for as we ought, but the Spirit Himself asked for us. Prayer Almighty and Eternal God, who has vouchsafed to regenerate us by water and the Holy Spirit, and has given us forgiveness of all sins, vouchsafe to send forth from heaven upon us your sevenfold spirit, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and fortitude, the spirit of knowledge and piety, and fill us with the spirit of holy fear. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us, sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Act of Consecration to the Holy Spirit On my knees, before the great multitude of heavenly witnesses, I offer myself, soul and body to you, eternal Spirit of God. I adore the brightness of your purity, the unerring keenness of your justice, and the might of your love. You are the strength and light of my soul. In you I live and move and am. I desire never to grieve you by unfaithfulness to grace, and I pray with all my heart to be kept from the smallest sin against you. Mercifully guard my every thought 
and grant that I may always watch for your light and listen to your voice and follow your gracious inspirations. I cling to you and give myself to you and ask you by your compassion to watch over me in my weakness. Holding the pierced feet of Jesus and looking at his five wounds and trusting in his precious blood and adoring his open side and stricken heart, I implore you, adorable spirit, helper of my infirmity, to keep me in your grace that I may never sin against you. Give me grace, O Holy Spirit, Spirit of the Father and the Son, to say to you always and everywhere, Speak, Lord, for your servant heareth. Amen. Prayer for the seven gifts of the Holy Spirit. O Lord Jesus Christ, who before ascending into heaven did promise to send the Holy Spirit to finish your work in the souls of your apostles and disciples. Deign to grant the same Holy Spirit to me that he may perfect in my soul the work of your grace and your love. Grant me the spirit of wisdom that I may despise the perishable things of this world and aspire only after the things that are eternal, the spirit of understanding to enlighten my mind with the light of your divine truth, the spirit of counsel that I may ever choose the surest way of pleasing God and gaining heaven, the spirit of fortitude that I may bear my cross with you and that I may overcome with courage all the obstacles that oppose my salvation, the spirit of knowledge that I may know God and know myself and grow perfect in the science of the saints the spirit of piety, that I may find the service of God sweet and amiable, and the spirit of fear, that I may be filled with a loving reverence towards God and may dread in any way to displease Him. Mark me, dear Lord, with the sign of your true disciples, and animate in me all things with your spirit. Amen. The sixth day, faithfulness. Let us bow down in humility at the power and grandeur of the Holy Spirit. Let us worship the Holy Trinity and give glory today to the Paraclete, our Advocate. O Holy Spirit, by your power, Christ was raised from the dead to save us all. By your grace, miracles are performed in the name of Jesus. By your love, we are protected from evil. And so, we ask with humility and a beggar's heart for your gift of faithfulness within us. You, O Lord, are ever faithful. You are faithful until the end. Though we are weak and distracted, please give us the grace to be faithful to you as you are to us. Novena to the Holy Spirit O Holy Spirit, Divine Consoler, I adore you as my true God. I bless you by uniting myself to the praises you receive from the angel and saints. 
I offer you my whole heart and I render you heartfelt thanks for all the benefits you have bestowed and do unceasingly bestow upon the world. You are the author of all supernatural gifts and who did enrich with immense favors the soul of the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God. I beseech you to visit me by your grace and your love and grant me the favor I so earnestly seek in this novena. Kindly state your request here. O Holy Spirit, Spirit of Truth, come into our hearts, shed the brightness of your light on all nations, that they may be of one faith and pleasing to you. Amen. Come, O Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of the faithful and kindle in them the fire of your love. Concluding Prayer O God, who by the light of the Holy Spirit did instruct the hearts of the faithful, grant that by the same Holy Spirit we may be truly wise and ever enjoy His consolations. Through Christ our Lord. Amen.